Hey guys, it's Flame Tech here, and thank you for watching my video. Today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to make a intro in Sony Vegas Pro 9. So let's open up Sony. For, what first what we're going to do is make a video track by pressing right click or Control Shift Q as a hockey. Next we're going to go to Project Media, not Project. Uh, it's media Generations, and then we can choose from a background, whatever. I'm going to choose a noise texture. I'm going to Starry Sky. That looks pretty cool. So what we can edit it and all that. I'm going to make a little. I'm just going to make this red by going to color A. I'm going to make this pretty noticeable. Here we go. I'm going to max minimum. Make it a little more bright, noticeable, and all that. You know. Next we're going to do is right click, new video track again, so it's control Q or without key. Then we're going to go to text, and press this text so you can keep the background, so you can just view in the background. And I'm going to do flame tech. Let's, now let's make the size a little bit smaller, say 55. Now let's go to 60. 60 is good. Next, next one I want to. Whoa, well, I never saw any of these before. Pretty cool. Oh well, whatever, whatever. Next one I want to do is get a nice. What's it called? Font. I'm gonna use AR Desen. I like this font. It gives a little nice tech look. Oops. There we go. Okay. Well, let's see. Italic. Now I'm not gonna keep tab, I'm just gonna make this maybe 65 it would be good. Perfect. Then we're gonna wanna go to properties. Change the color. I'm going to change it to I don't know, green, no red. We're gonna change it to black and go to effects, draw outline, get a little color. Black and by the way, black and yellow look really good, black and red look really good too. I have a wave on this black and yellow, but that's whatever, that's my point. Feathers to get a little outline to make it whiff and all that. Let's exile this. Next we're gonna to want to actually no let's go back here. Next we're gonna do is go to placement and just take it out of here. Just take it off the screen. But make sure you like keep it center. Alright, so we're going to keep it like that. Next, we're going to go to, I don't know, I guess, right down here and go to 25 set point, point 0.25 milliseconds. Put the time right there, and we're going to move this over a little bit. Let's, the, the, the shorter it is, the faster it will go. So I guess right there is good. Now let's make it like right here. Alright, like that, and then let's put it up number. Point twenty five. So I guess like a. No, let's give it a sec now. And then we're going to put it like that. Now we're point twenty five, one point twenty five now. And then just bring it back so it looked like it had a little over speed. Just like that. So let's just play this, see how it looks a little bit. It still needs to be rendered, but in the finishing touch, it'll be a little better. Let's make this outgoing a little bit more. Right there is good, I gotta say. 1.25. Weird. Keep it like that, whatever. So let's just play this again. See, it still needs to be rendered because it's just like it's laggy because like so much effects going on makes it a little bit harder. Next, we're going to press here to do our effects. We're going to go to I say lens flare. Let's try that and add. Press OK. That looks pretty neat. A little lens flare. You can change the color on this too. 
But I don't think you really can see. I don't know. I'm gonna change the green so you could see it. Then tint intensity so you can see it more. Uh, but that looks pretty neat. Well, right here is good. Tint. Let's see. Uh, tint is the more color. Deep in. Let's keep tint. Like that. Let's change the white actually. Alright, just keep it like that. But bring it back a little more. There you go. That's pretty good. Alright, I got five minutes left of talking. Blend. Keep this like that to blend. You can play with it a little. I'm pretty much just playing with it. I say keep this like right in the middle so you can get it. Like that. So what we're going to do first is perspective is a moving. So we're going to be using perspective a lot so we can get a nice moving touch in it. So put the perspective right here and do the point twenty five. Let's keep doing it. Let's start right point fifteen. So we're going to go up point fifteen. And I guess move it like a, like that pretty much. Then go up another point, like then go to 25, 10 seconds every time I guess, I don't know. Doesn't matter, but make sure pretty close together. Keep going up. You want to is go back. Keep like that. Let's view this house, see how it's going out. It's moving a little bit. And you can also like use this to make it smaller and all that. You know, the length. Next what we're gonna do here is then we can just keep on little effects and all that, whatever. Let's take a quick basic intro, put a little sound here, insert a video track, audio track, whatever, I meant. And go to media, project media, import. So I'll just put a little song, choose. Actually, no, I'm not going to choose a song, never mind, because I can't do that, I'm not allowed to. Libraries, documents, Sony Vegas. Uh, my intro sounds insert here whatever you know then let's let's because I got I got like a minute left so I can still show some more so show some more next we could put up like little you could do like whatever you want but this is like a basic tutorial like that but you can make it longer than that if you want but I'm saying like you know then we could put our then go to project media not project media generators insert another reveal track put another one again I guess and we're gonna put subscribe this time subscribe decode okay let's just keep like this this I'm just gonna do this real fast right there then we first we want to is for the move this over to a stops moving because pretty much we don't want to put like where it's go did it stop moving it's almost stopped so like right here started pretty much started there then go to transitions go to cross effects or just fade in max zoom I'm showing you this is it and please rate, comment, and subscribe uh, for more tutorials and hopefully I can become a partner and give you longer tutorials and even better ones. Thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.